What's up, YouTube? My name is the Lazy Tryhard, and today we are going to be continuing our Android Studio Android application tutorial series, whatever you want to call it. That's what we're doing. So today, what I thought I'd do is now that we have the emulator set up, we have everything kind of defined a little bit. Where we've established a foundation of this Android application tutorial series. What we want to do next is kind of bridge the gap. Now. Bridge the gap between what you might ask? Well, between the main activity.java and the activity main.xml. Now you have these two things. You have or in any Android application, you have the Java and then you have the res that holds all the XML pages. Now you, you you're like, what what's the difference between them? The difference is that these XMLs are strictly for show. They don't have any functionality to it. What I mean is if we go over to the design and we run this application like I have, and again, this is a really cool trick. If you haven't updated your code or anything like that in Android, you can see that your Android application is still already um, within this. So you can uh, program it perfectly and you can just view it from where you last picked up. And it's still going to be on there. You don't have to run it every time, which kind of it can be tedious once you do it for a little while. So, just wanted to throw that little tidbit out there. So, back to where I was. The XML. This is basically what an XML uh, functionality does. It gives you the buttons. It gives you the text views. It gives you the radio buttons. But when you click this button, nothing happens. If you click this radio button, nothing happens. If you click anything nothing really happens because the XML doesn't handle that. That's what the Java Java side of the programming does. It handles all of these so quote unquote events with listeners for buttons. It can do whatever you want. It can set text. It can do like you can set the title. You can't do that in the XML as far as I know. But that's basically what it is. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So First off, uh, you kind of see we have these text views, these buttons, we have all these different quote-unquote views, widgets, whatever you want to call them. But we're just going to organize it really quickly. And the way we do that is um, we're going to give these different names. And we got to make sure that it doesn't freak out on us because uh, some of this is like dependent on the IDs. Now these IDs are what uniquely identify the widgets that we're going to later access in this Java. So we're just going to give them names that actually matter and we're going to call this a super button because it's a super button. And this is going to freak out because this is looking for a button. This is looking for the ID that we that we previously had but now that we changed it to super button we have to uh, change all these names as well so it's reformatted and stuff. And honestly I'm just going to get rid of this radio button and I was supposed to get rid of it. It didn't. That's frustrating. So we're going to also get rid of this image button because it's kind of annoying. And I'm not going to really focus a lot on it. Um, so we can get rid of that as well. And it should all reformat pretty nicely. So we have these two text views. And this is kind of what I'm going to cover. So what I want to do is when we click this button, I want this text to change to something different. So we have the lazy tryhard here and we have the super button here so now that we have identified them and we know what they are we're gonna to go to the main activity and kinda of bridge this cool gap between all of it so what we're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go into your Java class and you're gonna to wanna to type the following and you're gonna to to type button and it's gonna be like what what button are you referring to and you're gonna hit all enter and it's gonna import it for you we're just gonna call it B for right now and we have a text view which also is going to be imported, and we're just going to call it TV, text view. I know, I'm really creative with these names. So uh, next, we're going to have to initialize it. Now, be very careful on this because uh, this is kind of where people trip up, and this is where it's kind of hazy and it's kind of complicated. So we're going to do B equals. We're going to cast it into a button, and we're going to do the file following. Acti the activity class has this method called find view by ID. Now, this ID is exactly what we have right here in the code. So, ID the lazy tryhard, ID um, super button. So, if we do it, we can do the following R dot ID dot super button. Now, you're going to be like, what the heck just happened? 
I'm going to try to explain it. But find view by ID, basically, like I said, accesses, um, it tries to get the ID from the XML. So uh, if we're trying to get super button, it gets the super button. Now just type r.id. Now again, I'm not going to really explain that because honestly, it's kind of it's a little hazy for me as well. But point being, uh, these are where you access all the IDs. So if we got rid of this, we could also access uh, the lazy tryhard, which is the same thing, but it's you get an error sign because it's not a button because it's a text view. So you got to make sure you got all these straight. So we're going to call it super button, and we're going to do the same thing with TV. We're going to cast it into a text view and we're going to also do find view by id r.id dot the lazy tryhard so uh, now we have this all set up we have everything initialized we're going to want to do the following we're going to want to set an on or set on click listener and you're going to be like what the heck is an on click listener and I'm going to explain it in like 20 seconds so Whoa, crazy, right? Uh, B dot set on click listener, and you're gonna do a new view dot on click listener. So, how I did that was I'm gonna I'm gonna back up really quickly because I'm sure a lot of you just exploded. So we do B dot set on click listener. Now we clicked new, and I did Alt or Control Space, and I found what listener I wanted. I wanted the on click listener and I hit enter and it awesomely created all this code for me that I don't have to type because I'm kind of lazy. It's kind of a part of my name and we're going to have to also put our brackets there to get rid of all those errors. So whatever or when this button is clicked this method will run. So this is where we put all the code where we want everything to kind of work. So if we do it right now, we can do the following. If we want to change the text view, so TV dot set text, and it's going to give you a lot of different options. We're just going to do a char sequence, which is basically a string, and we're going to be like, the text has changed. Yeah, quadruple exclamation points because we're passionate about this stuff. So if I run that right now, and it should run properly, um, we should be able to kind of work with all of this and it should be beautiful but again it takes a while so try to run this as few times as possible where you actually kind of get the right stuff so I already have my emulator up right here and it's gonna run and you're gonna click the button and it's gonna say the text has changed so la di da whoa crazy right but this is actually a very cool concept because we use buttons so much. We use all this stuff so much in applications. If you use any application, you need to know how to do buttons and stuff like that. And doing changing the text in a, in a text view uh, is also very important because you want to. That's kind of one of the very simplest ways to uh, do that stuff and kind of work it. So uh, I hope this helped. Uh, again, we're gonna go through all all of the widgets one one. <laughs> one or two widgets at a time so I'm gonna hopefully be able to explain all this to you uh, before we kinda of start getting to the development stage and actually develop a full-fledged application uh, and work with all that so thank you so much for watching uh, I hope this helped uh, please rate, subscribe, comment, comment, criticize do whatever you want um, I love feedback from you guys so if you want to post any of that I'd really appreciate it and again I love you guys love doing this series and I will see you guys in the next video